Artificial intelligence is probably the most talked about thing nowadays on the internet. Still, only very few people know how much of the technology has advanced, or the fact that humanoid robots have also been given citizenship of some countries. Digital technology has been a key feature of professional accountancy for some time, but now artificial intelligence is increasingly being applied alongside. Understanding digital tools and AI is one thing, but interpreting the insights and indicators that they throw out is on another level. Decision makers need to be able to understand what AI tools are prompting them to do. Leaders must see the symptoms as offering up best practice in terms of governance, ethics, risk, and impact on human capital. But the algorithms may give rise to other factors that require monitoring and interpreting. Human intuition is a double-edged sword. While it brings perspective, it can also introduce unconscious bias. For example, human intervention is needed to check for built-in bias in algorithms to avoid decision drift that may occur from regular use of the systems, to identify the right questions to ask of the results, to understand the works the outputs will result in, and to bring to bear professional intuition and skepticism for greater accuracy and predictability. There is a tension between the implementation of artificial intelligence, robots, and algorithms, and the continuously evolving decision-making abilities of accountants as they reconsider their roles. Do they allow the tech to take over the mundane transition level activity and transform themselves into business decision makers? Or is there a more progressive way where the machines can take some of the decisions? This in turn raises the issue of system ethics versus professional ethics. AI systems cannot get a feel for the business and the market it operates in. The strategic issues, objectives, and context. A level of judgment, expertise, influence, fairness, professionalism. In other words, an ethical lens is required in strategic decision-making that is beyond the abilities of even the most sophisticated AI. Imagine you are a tourist in a country and your local guide is a robot, or you are watching the early morning news and the presenter is a robot, or even the customer service agent at your nearest phone help center is also a robot. This is not a dream or the distant future, but currently reality. But human intuition is a double-edged sword. While it brings perspective, it can also introduce unconscious bias and this bias can also be programmed unconsciously into the system. In fact, the idea of building completely unbiased systems seems impossible as they inevitably incorporate the rules, regulations, laws, and ethical and governance principles and behaviors that are set by humans and that influence decision makers. It is vital, therefore, that professionals strive to ensure their perspective or context is honest and unbiased. Otherwise, the perception will be that AI is more reliable than human judgment. AI is the execution of calculative decisions made by computers that are an imitation of human intelligence. The modeling of human decisions involves a deep learning of prediction models, that is, the neural network technology learns using training data that is inputted into the model. The system learns from previous decisions, and this can be a problem when factors change that the system has not learned about. Neural networks require access to all available data sets. Often, they are trained on data sets that are inherently prejudiced. When the prejudicial systems are connected, the bias gets amplified. How can you be sure when outsourcing your decision-making capabilities to an intelligent AI system that you are bridging significant gaps that professionals couldn't do better? And as the technology appears more honest, accurate, and reliable, there may be a tendency for decision drift. That is, the more the system is seen as being right, the more the humans might allow decisions to be deferred as they present hard human choices. In this age of innovation and technology, more and more companies are creating extremely human-looking robots that will work closely with actual humans in the hospitality or customer service sectors. So it is obvious that these robots are created to look like humans as much as possible and even behave like humans. And while you are still able to recognize them as robots in present time, there may even come a time in the future when you think you are talking to a human that turns out to be a robot. A humanoid robot is similar to a human body in shape. These robots are professional service robots built for interaction with human tools and customer service. These humanoid robots are also used for inspection and maintenance. They have skin and eyes, but they are not made of flesh or bones. The latest iteration can talk like humans, walk like humans, and express a wide range of emotions. These ultra-realistic robots look exactly like humans, Although their behavior still needs more improvement to resemble a human completely, it is clear that rendering social and relational learning to robots is feasible. This may improve in the future 
with increasing advances in artificial intelligence. These robots look exactly like humans, and while their behavior still needs some improvement to completely resemble a human, this may change in the future with increasing advances in artificial intelligence. According to CNN, three humanoid robots named Sophia, Grace, and Desdumana could become the friendly faces of AI. The tech billionaire Elon Musk is even making his own humanoid robots, which he says will start doing menial tasks but could one day be our friends. David Hansen, the founder of Hansen Robotics, designed the up-and-coming humanoid sisters. Ben Gordzell was a former chief scientist at the company, and he is credited with creating their AI brains. Gordzell told CNN, AI mostly exists behind the scenes, in the form of algorithms doing various sorts of pattern recognition and cognization that are hard for people to understand. The purpose of these robots was to be an interface with the AI world and the human world, he added. The face of one of the primary ways humans express emotions and connect with each other. If you have an AI that you can look in the eyes and it smiles at you, that gives us a subjective feeling of connection. The eldest robot of the trio is Sophia, and she was first activated in 2016. She's already being lauded as the face of AI, and has gained widespread attention for her looks. She was the first non-human to win the United Nations Development Program's first innovation champion title. She even has Saudi Arabian citizenship. Hanson Robotics hopes that Sophia and her sisters have bright futures ahead. Gordzell gives one example of how they could help humans in need. If you're dealing with someone who is in the middle stages of dementia, they're just asking the same thing over and over again. It's the same thing day after day. The robot will never get bored with it. According to reports, NASA is working on a project to create a humanoid robot that would aid in human spaceflight and may even help with washing at home. According to ZDNet, NASA and the U.S. robot startup Aptronek are working together to create Apollo, a 5-foot, 8-inch, 160-pound, general-purpose humanoid robot that can help with jobs in space, the business sector, and most intriguingly, the household. I'm ready for it, you know. I'm sick of doing laundry and dishes, according to a statement made by Aptronek CEO Jeff Cardenas. Apollo will be outfitted to carry burdens that humans do not want or need to carry. It will be able to do a variety of activities in a variety of conditions. These robots will initially perform extremely basic tasks, such as moving goods, according to Carter Nass. Things on which we spend a lot of energy will now be freed up to focus on activities that are much more deserving of our time and talent, he continued. The first appearance of Apollo will reportedly occur during South by Southwest in March of 2023. A collection of concurrent film, interactive media, music, and conference events known together as South by Southwest takes place each year in the middle of March in the United States. The remainder of the year will be spent by Aptronex, closely collaborating with a few chosen customers to implement the robot in track use cases. The full rollout won't start until 2024, though. When creating NASA's Valkyrie robot, NASA and Aptronex worked together for the first time. According to the story, Valkyrie was a multi-purpose humanoid robot that looked like it belonged in a sci-fi movie. 